Life Audio. Thank you for listening to Your Daily Prayer, a podcast dedicated to helping you find the words you need to connect with your Father in Heaven. No matter what is going on in your life today, you can trust God that He wants to hear from you. Right after this short word from our sponsor, we'll pray together through today's prayer. It's time for Medicaid Open Enrollment in Delaware. From Wilmington to Bethany Beach, connections run deep in the first state. And AmeriHealth Caritas Delaware is dedicated to connecting you to care. To learn more, visit AmeriHealthCaritasDE.com or call 800-996-9969. It's time for Medicaid Open Enrollment in Delaware. From Wilmington to Bethany Beach, connections run deep in the first state. And AmeriHealth Caritas Delaware is dedicated to connecting you to care. To learn more, visit AmeriHealthCaritasDE.com or call 800-996-9969. A Prayer for Dealing with Difficult People Written and Read by Mary Sutherland When someone hurts one of our grandchildren, my first and wrong response is usually a very strong desire to flatten the person who did the hurting, just keeping it real. I know that's the wrong reaction, born out of anger and the wrath of a grandmother. Our grandson Hudson recently schooled me on the right way to respond when you've been hurt. One little boy in Hudson's class at school is, well, no other word describes him but a bully. His favorite target seems to be Hudson, the sweetest kid on the planet. One day, the little boy punched Hudson in the face, and a teacher saw the whole thing. She called Dana and Sam, Hudson's parents, asked them to come in for a conference. Now, both Dana and Sam were stunned when the teacher explained what had happened. Dana asked, is this the first time he's done this, Hud? Hudson responded, no, he's done it before. Dana and Sam were shocked. We had no idea, they explained to the teacher. Why haven't you told anyone, his father asked. Hudson's response stunned everyone. I can take it, Dad. He's really short. In fact, he's the shortest kid in our class. Everyone but me makes fun of him. He doesn't have many friends, and I have a lot of friends. I knew if I told anyone, he would get in trouble. So I just take it. Because I'd like to be his friend. I think he really needs one. Needless to say, bullying is never, ever right. And certainly not to be tolerated in any situations. The adults were amazed by Hudson's response, but explained that he should never allow anyone to treat him that way. Yes, the little boy got in trouble, but he also received some much-needed help from the school counselor. Here's the question. Did Hudson love this little boy like Jesus loves that little boy? I think so. And that is a vital truth to our walk with God, to love like Jesus loves. Hudson put feet to John's words when he said, A new command I give you, love one another as I have loved you, so you must love one another. By this, everyone will know that you are my disciples if you love one another. That phrase, as I have loved you, changes everything when it comes to dealing with someone who's hurt us. Think of all the ways Jesus loves us. He willingly surrendered to his Father's plan, giving up a throne for a manger and heaven for earth. He died the most brutal death known to mankind, crucifixion. He was despised, rejected, and did not even have a place to lay his head at night. And yet, he loves us completely and eternally in the midst of our sin, just as we are. And then he calls us to love others the same way. Why? Because that kind of radical love can only be explained by God. So the world will then know that we are his disciples and that his love is real. God empowers us with his love and then partners with us in loving others. This twofold message is repeated again and again in the Bible. God loves us. God wants to love others through us. 
Yes, God wants us to love each other in the same way that He loves, unconditionally. In fact, God wants us to love in such a way that people around us will know that we are fully devoted followers of Christ. I wonder what our relationships would look like if we did love the way Jesus loves us. Nowhere in the Bible will you find the words, you know when you feel like it, love others. Nope, it is not in there. The Bible tells us to practice love. Love is an ongoing and very deliberate choice, not an emotion or feeling. I challenge you to step out today in faith and choose to love that difficult person in your life the way Jesus loves you. Let's pray. Lord, I so want to be like Hudson when I grow up, to have a heart for those in pain, to be willing to step out in faith and love the unlovable and touch the untouchable. Father, the more I work and interact with difficult people, the more I realize there is always a reason for their abrasive behavior. That sandpaper may be a well-chosen mask or carefully applied bandage for some deeply hidden wound that has just never fully healed. Hurt people really do hurt people, Lord. Help me remember that everyone I meet is fighting some kind of battle I know nothing about. Teach me how to respond with love, not anger. Give me a heart for restoration, not retaliation. Father, help me love like you love. In Jesus' name, amen. Your Daily Prayer is a production of Life Audio and Salem Media. If you liked what you heard today, please take a second to rate and review this podcast in your favorite podcast app so that more listeners like you can find the show. For more faith-filled, inspirational podcasts, visit us at lifeaudio.com. It's time for Medicaid Open Enrollment in Delaware. From Wilmington to Bethany Beach, connections run deep in the first state. And AmeriHealth Caritas Delaware is dedicated to connecting you to care. To learn more, visit AmeriHealthCaritasDE.com. The hardest part of being a CASA volunteer isn't supporting and guiding a child through foster care. The hardest part is deciding to make a difference. Visit BecomeACASA.org. Every child has a chance. It's you.